Welcome to World War II Online Tutorials. Today, I'd like to take you through the user interface to help you better understand the information being presented to you and get you to where you need to be as quickly as possible. So after you load the game, you're gonna be presented with this welcome screen. And at the upper right, it's gonna discuss player population for the Allied Forces and the Axis. In this case, the Allied Forces are requesting reinforcements and the Germans are overpopulated. Consider joining the Allies to better balance the game in this scenario. Off to the left, you'll see Message of the Day. We update this routinely. You should check it each time. Below that will be the Poll of the Day. Help us with your feedback and select the relevant answer and click OK. As I mentioned earlier, the Allied forces, which consist of the British, fr French, and American forces, on the, as shown on the left here, are currently underpopulated and request reinforcements. The Germans in this scenario are overpopulated. I have a side lock on there because I clicked there earlier just to show you what this would look like. This is one of our ways to prevent rapid switching, which is something we don't really like to promote. To join one of these personas, which is either Army, Navy, or Air Force, you can either double click or come down here at the bottom right and click. In this case, I'm gonna just gonna double click, which is much easier. Now you're being presented with all the player missions that are the, the top missions for the side. You'll notice they're both green as well as red. Green indicates that they're defensive missions and red indicates that they're attack missions. The leader is presented on the left. The originating town is here under origin and the target is where you're trying to go. The activity bar indicates how populated it is, which obviously Gray Man's mission here at the top is the most populated. Uh, if your squad was online, it would present an icon like this. So you can join one of your squad mates there. And then MS stands for mobile spawn. This check mark indicates an active mobile spawn in this mission. Now I'm going to go over here to Bethenville and I'm going to just click left click here once. And you'll notice the screen over here on the right just panned over there. Now I'm going to go back to Chimay and show you what that does. This makes it very easy to navigate the interface. You can also, on this side, on the right, use your mouse wheel to zoom out and to zoom in. Zoom out and left click and hold, and then you can also move your mouse around to navigate as well. You can also go out substantially further. If you want to see the whole game world, you can go over here to the top where it says theater map, click there, and you can actually, again, zoom out, and you can left click and pan around. This will help you very easily look around the whole game world and see where action is if you don't want to look at the active battles tab. At any time, in this case, Shimei, we know this is the most populated environment for probably the, both the Allied and Axis forces. You can right click, join garrison or brigade, and in this case, click over here and join the Shimei army garrison. This shows all the available missions in Shimei. It's a very busy place. If you want to go back to the active battles tab, you'll notice you can't click up here. You go to the bottom right and go to Change Brigade. You're now back to the Active Battles tab, which shows the global uh, po most populated and important missions for your side. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and double click the top mission again. You'll notice that you're in the Ready Room. The Ready Room is where you select what type of unit you'd like to spawn. You can double click any infantry. If you want to switch, you just hit Cancel. Whatever's available to you will be in green. If you see it in yellow, that means you don't have enough rank to access the unit. If you see a red lock on it, it means your subscription is unavailable to access that unit. Then you should subscribe and support this project. To uh, condense this, you just click on the left there. Let's expand and minimize. Uh, if you want armored vehicles, you open it up. If you want a AAA, which is anti-aircraft or anti-tank guns, open it or close it. And then, of course, your trucks and haulers. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and select a rifleman. You can either click there and click select weapon. You can even just click it once and then hit enter world. Or I always like to just double click it to reserve the weapon. Then at the bottom right, you can just hit enter world. Now I'm spawning into the game world. When you're ready to despawn, you just hit escape at the upper left of your keyboard. You're going to have to wait for a second. This prevents people, you know, rapidly despawning. As soon as the green, this becomes green, we just click OK, you'll despawn, and you'll end up back at the after action report. This will show you some information about what sort of you were. So, so far this campaign, there's been 338,373 sorties and counting as of this moment. 
This is the unit you were. Did you capture anything? Did you kill anything? What was your result? Did you return to base? I did. Sometimes it'll be KIA, which is killed in action, or MIA, missing in action, or RES, which is rescue. Information about your sortie can also be found here. Like, did I, you know, what were my points? What did I score? Who did I kill? Who were the guys that killed me? Who were the, you know, the enemy? Player names. And go back to briefing. This shows you who's on your mission list, which is nice, as well as your leader. Sometimes he'll have orders right here. And you can go back to ready room. You can either select that weapon again, or you can cancel. And maybe this time I want to drive a tank. So I'll double click that. And that's it. Now you know how to quickly navigate to the battle and spawn in. Thanks for watching.